Well, what's up, guys? Super Silverman's here. Uh, after I close these blinds, we shall get started. Good, just like me. I can never be fully ready. Right, so I'm just going through random coins, as I do. And you guys will yell at me because I don't have the double dyed up or anything, and I'm doing random denominations, so it's hard to have a double die in mind that you're looking for versus just looking and then finding what you think is something doubled. But I still do that from time to time where I just kind of look through coins and if I see something suspicious, then I look for, through the listings instead of vice versa, which everybody advises. So I just threw this dime on here because it was in my way. I just wanted it off my mat. So 1962, as you can see. Probably a Denver, from what I can remember, most of that purchase I had was Denver's. So I zoomed in a little bit. Because right here on said forehead, and just so I can get it a little bigger, we'll do one more. So it starts here is where I started to notice it. My thumb's in the right spot. So right here on his eyebrow, in front of his eye, there's a little bit, and then it goes away. And right here on his lips, you get a little bit, almost like it's 3D, and he has that little indent like we do on our lips. And then down here on his chin. So if I raise this up a little higher, it gets a little bit clearer. So that's the doubling. So on, it's definitely not a play on light or angle situation. So we can turn this however you would like. Oh, my phone's about to die. So we're going to set this back down a little lower. And I'm going to plug you back in. And we're just going to continue this video. Bloop. Ah, now it's bright and I can see through my phone again. So. Yeah, I don't think play on light. Because even if I, if I block light, you can still see where that is. You can. We'll back it on up because I know that's a little close. It's unnecessarily close even. But yeah, so I'm going to start my searches now. I'm sorry for making these videos before I have an actual listing for it. Uh, if I can, I'll make a little edit. And I'll, uh, I'll add an extension to the video with results. Hopefully. Yeah, you can even see right there. <sighs> Minus the hair that was on there. If I go in a little bit, you can see the bottom of that R and U and S. Uh, I haven't been making videos and I apologize for that. It was because my scope and I weren't getting along. But after a solid day of playing with it and messing with the light, not just the light on it, but the light in my room, uh, in my workspace, played a huge role. Oh my God, did that play a role. So if you guys are having scope issues or seeing stuff in your loop that you can't get to match, on your on your you know penny or dime start playing with the lights around like i have a light that's directly up this way uh, it's directly to up here but it has to be in a certain spot and if you move that light at all it changes what shines so with this light barely on sorry that's my dog and he's deaf. he's deaf, so I can't yell at him. So we're just going to have to deal with that. But if you flood it in any way with this one too bright, it takes all of your side away. And if you don't have your outside lights on in the right spots, it, it, it screws with what you can see as well. But if you play with stuff enough and get your settings just right, it'll show you both. It, it'll, it'll show you the, the separation a lot, a lot easier. This was the first set of anything that I had put on here after playing with it. So, and my goal was to get the edges when you're looking at it to be the same color. I'm looking at a penny right now. And you see when we get to the middle, the LED lighting that's on the scopes these days, it floods it out. And that's why your coin is never the same color as it should be. But the lower you turn down that light and the more you use your natural lighting in your surroundings 
the more copper it becomes. So when I'm on the edges checking my search, I get the actual actual penny, I get the actual Lincoln instead of the flooded boom turns it blue like a like it's silver all of a sudden. But that's just over flooding of light. And the reason I have it set up to where it does that is because I only need it on the edges to be that color. And if I up or lower the light in any way, it takes away a little bit of the definition of the edges of lettering when I'm around the edge. But it doesn't screw with it enough to really gloss you out like it does right here on most of the rest of the surface. It gives you a good outline for you to see a double serif or a separation or and it doesn't accentuate MD. So play with your scopes, guys. Sorry I rambled again. That's what I do. But play with your scopes. If you don't feel like it's giving you the best view, play with it. Because no matter how much money you spent on it, it's still a quality piece of machinery. I can almost guarantee it. So I bought two because I thought my first one wasn't good enough because I didn't take the time to really sit with it and play and, and learn. So study guys, practice, learn, trial and error. Same with your books. If you're looking for errors, study, 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 practice, practice, practice. I'm pretty sure I found a double die though. So I'm off to do some searching because that lip seems some doubling on them lips and he's got a good old double chin. And Rosie added some weight to him. And then his eyebrow right here. So, if you guys agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. If you watched this whole video enough to answer that question, high five.